10 bands, 50 bands, 100 bands. Hi there everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing an eyeshadow look for Valentine's Day as it is coming up this week on Thursday. So I thought it would be a good video just to give you some inspiration um, of what makeup look to do. And also, before we get into the video, I just want to mention that I've finally got Instagram and I've never had it before. So yeah, I've finally got it and I will link it down in the description um, just in case anyone wants to follow me or anything like that. And I am going to get straight into the video now. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. Okay guys, I know it's happened on, I don't think it was my last video, the video before. But like the room that I film in, it's so bright. So um, hopefully you can see clearly what I'm doing there because the, it's so bright that it's so hard for me to see on the camera like what I'm actually doing. So hopefully it looks all right. I'm just gonna get started. So, and also I thought I'd wear a red top. Valentine's Day, put a red top on. I'm like, go me, coordinating for once. So I have done all my makeup just because I want to focus on the eyes because I feel like when I do a makeup tutorial it just takes me ages and the video ends up to be like 25 minutes long and then there's people that do really good makeup videos and they're like 15 minutes long and they look bomb and I'm like how did you do that so yeah I'm just gonna just stick to the eyes today um so the first thing that I'm gonna do is just use my concealer and I'm just gonna put that on my eyelid and I have got a little mirror down here just so I can see what I'm doing. Um, like I said, I can't see the camera. And then we're just gonna blend that out. I've not put too much on. I, I feel like I used to put loads of concealer on my um, eyes like before I did my eyeshadow. Um, I just feel like it doesn't work that good so i've just decided to just put a tad on all my palettes i'm using today to create a look is all makeup revolution i always say how much i really like it um and yeah i really like their eyeshadows and their makeup as well so the first palette is just the imogen palette and it just looks like that those are the colors that you get in there so to start off with i'm going to be using this color in the corner and we're going to be using that in the crease so I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and then I'm just going to um, just work that round in the crease. It is a, This colour it is really nice. As you can see, it's really red. Um, but yeah, I do really like this palette. I think it's got some really pretty colours in. So yeah, I do really like this palette. And I'm just going to work that round. And just make sure like it's blended outwards as well, like towards the eyebrow. Um, just so yeah, we can just really get it blended. Because it is like this is very like pigmented, I think, if you can see. But it is a really pretty colour. It's like a ready pink, ain't it? So I'm just gonna keep just working it round. I did this makeup look and I did put it on a picture of it on um insta insta not instagram insta but yeah i've put a picture on there um of it and i don't know i really liked it i just thought that i would do a makeup look on it but then once you've done that we're just going to take our concealer again we're going to put it on the eyelid and then we're going to basically cut this out and then draw a line up there um so i'll just cut that out first and then i'll show you um, how I draw the line to get the cut crease. And then I'm just gonna just blend that out first before I do the um, cut crease. Okay, so once you've just cut it out and um, made a little line there and um, you can take the colour again which sometimes I do and I just lightly like just go over it um just to define the edges and make sure that like it's not faded any of the colour so then now to do the cut crease line we are then gonna take the concealer basically draw a line 
there like that and then we're going to join it up as if you do it's kind of like if you do like a winged eyeliner but up here rather than like going from the corner of your eye so we're just going to do that and then just take it round again as you can see that's what i've got so far um you i'm just going to go over it again as well just to um make it a bit darker and also i always say but i always use the lip brush because it really feels like it defines the lines and stuff and i can get really good lines with it okay guys so once you've got something like that just so you can see where we're going to put the next color as we are we are going to put the pink over this so it doesn't matter about being too neat or not um i have drawn mine a bit up here because i it kind of goes there when you look at it but also my eyes open i always have this like like you know that bit there i don't know if you can see but you know don't matter now we're going to just use a flat brush and we're going to be using the next revolution palette which is which one's this flawless four and these are the colors in there and they're really really pretty again and they've got all the colors that you could want but we're going to be taking the pink here and we're going to just start by really packing the colour on from the corner. Um, and then as we go towards the eye, we're going to kind of like blend it out almost. And we're not going to like really put the colour on. So we're just going to go into that first. I feel like I'm not that the best at explaining things I'm on. <laughs> so we're going to just start by putting the colour on first. You might need to just keep going back, back into it because we do want it to be like really vibrant. Then take it towards the crease and just follow where you've done the line. And it doesn't matter about, um, as long as you can try and follow the line up here, um, down the bottom it doesn't matter because we can clean that up at the end with um, a bit of um, concealer. So it doesn't matter about the bottom too much. So really put the colour on. And then take that. Okay, so now we're getting towards the end of the eye. Just basically just use the excess of like pink that you've got in your brush just to um, fill the rest in as we don't want it to be too pink. You kind of want it to like fade out. And I know the colours are very contrasting. Like you, on the camera they might look really, because on the camera now it looks really, like it all just merged into one. Um, but close up in the mirror, you can actually see the colour difference of the red and the pink. And I actually think it works. I actually really like it. So then once you've done that, we're just going to get a blending brush and we're just going to blend the red out at the top. So we'll just go over and just blend that out. I do think this look as well, I think it's quite easy and I just feel like it's quite cute as well, especially for Valentine's Day. Um, well, I really like it anyway, <laughs> but I've kind of got to like it because I'm filming a tutorial on it. Um, so obviously I like it. Um, then just go back in with that. So now once we've done that, we're not going to do the line yet. We're going to wait and we're going to basically... Use a little bit of a glitter eyeliner. Um, I'm using silver. I feel like it looks better than using gold. Um, I just prefer using the silver one. So then we're just going to gently, because we don't really want to go out of line with this, otherwise you'll have to like kind of restart your eye again. And no one wants to do that. So we're going to start basically from... I usually start in the middle actually, and then I work my way either, either side. But... 
where you've basically cut the crease, this is just going to cut the two off and then you'll see like the contrast in the colours and the difference so it doesn't just all merge into one. So we're going to start in the middle. I can't really talk while I do this. So we've got our first silver line. And then I'm going to go into the inner corner. Like that. And now we're going to take it to the outer corner which is the more um, tricky part that you've got to really be really careful on. So, so as you can see, I've just followed from the flick and then I've brought it up and round. And yeah, I really like that, oh, it's so pretty. So now we've done that, I'm just gonna go back in with the red and I'm just gonna just make it a little bit more brighter. So I'm just gonna go over that. And then I'm just gonna blend that out. Okay, and then if you need to, um, make the line neater at the bottom what i usually do is i just follow the line down just with a bit of concealer and then i just blend that out and again you can use any sometimes I use a lip brush just so it's more precise or i just use my beauty blender just a really small one and I'll just blend that line out. And you can see it's gone really sharp. It just looks really nice. So that is basically everything. I'm going to go off and do the other eye and put some eyelashes on. And then I'll come back and show you the finished look. And also put a bit of lipstick on. Um, I don't know what colour I'm using yet. Probably a nude. It's my favourite. So I'll be back. Hey now, just to finish off the whole look. Um... I've just put some Ardell Demi Lashes on and now I'm going to use the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London, which is like my favourite one. Um, I'm not going to lie my lips to this because then I'm just going to be popping a little bit of gloss over the top. So, where's my mirror gone? Now I'm just going to pop just a little bit of gloss over the top of that. And then also I'm just going to pop a little bit of highlighter just on the top of my eye, under my eyebrow and this side as well. And then I'm just going to pop a little bit in the inner crease because I just feel like that just ties the whole look together. So I mean now it's gone so dark like what I sometimes I'm just like I just give up with like using natural lighting because I do use my lights and stuff but when it's so bright like earlier it's just pointless because it already make a difference and obviously now the sun's going it's just like cheers. I really like it I love the fact that it's not too out there it's not over the top because I usually like to put eyeliner on and stuff like that but lately I've just been loving like just some really nice like natural looking lashes because these are not too big either. But I just think it just looks really nice and I really like this look. Hey guys, so that is the end of my video. I really hope you enjoyed it and you like the makeup look that I've done. If you did then don't forget to thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to follow me on Insta if you have it. And yeah, just, just want to see what I'm doing. Um, and I'm going to London soon, so hopefully there will be a few good pictures going to be put up. And that's everything, guys. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!